Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a new series on hydrological replication in Google Earth Engine. So basically different types of hydrological model, how we can easily implement in Google Earth Engine. In this series, I will try to explain all of those things one by one. So today's session, I will try to explain about that, how we can easily make the river network map and also distance to river map using Google Earth Engine. So let's go. Here you can see I already make the map. One is the river network map for Bangladesh. Another is that distance to river map. So now I will explain all of this code, how I create this type of map using Google Earth Engine. Then I hope you can easily get this idea about this code. So let me open my code editor. So just I simply open my code editor. So here you can see I already make this type of work. So here you can see this is the one kind of map. So this is our boundary shape file for Bangladesh country boundary, district boundary. And here you can see it's our river network. So all of river network, mainly major river in the Bangladesh, we try to visualize in this river network in this map. And further, we also calculate using the Euclidean distance, using the distance to river map. So further we can identify this place is the near to the river, this place is the uh, far from the distance far from the river. We can easily get it from this distance to river map. Okay, so we can get this type of result. So now I will explain all of method, how we can easily create this type of things. So mainly first of all, you need that flow accumulation. Okay, so basically in this time, we can using the river network, we can easily get that follow accumulation. This type of network, we can easily get the follow accumulation. But if you want, you can also use the DEM data, mainly NASA SRTM DEM or any other kind of DEM. You can easily calculate the flow direction and also calculate the flow accumulation. So further next tutorial, I also try to discuss about that, how we can easily use the DEM data and create the follow direction and also create the follow accumulation. So in this time, here I use the hydro sheds data. So basically you can see my code. I already added the code in here. So in this time, I just use here this data set here you can see. Uh, hydro shades data and basically this hydro shades data we can easily get that follow accumulation okay so here you can see this is the data set so basically this data set is the available in the google earth engine data catalog as well as i also imported that drainage area but in this time i just applying the thresholding technique i can take only for that uh greater than 1000 thresholding value river and further i just get only for this type of river if you decrease this value, suppose you can put here that uh, 100, then we can get the other uh, mini river network we can also visualize for our study area. In this time, I want to focus only for the major river. So further, I just take the uh, river thresholding value 1000, then I can get only for the main source river. But when you want to uh, work for the more local river network for your local region, then you can simply decrease the value, then you can also get that more local region about the follow accumulation mainly river network we can easily get from here so in this time i just simply call my drainage area mainly follow accumulation greater than all of 100 or uh, 1000 and further i just uh, marks with my river then i can get the river network so then i can get this type of river network map here you can see it show about that uh this type of river network we can easily get for that okay, all of major rivers in bangladesh we can easily get it so now if you want you can also export this map okay further you can also use it for your uh, river network map just export as a tip format further you can easily convert into that your um raster to vector conversion you can also do it no problem so now this is my river i can get this type of river network and now this river network i need to convert into distance okay from this river i have to convert the distance so for converting uh, compute the distance to river we have to use this function here you can see this function mainly it's calculated that first distance transform and this is the method to compute the euclidean distance for each pixel to the nearest river and here you can see i also put here the square okay the square so this function used to co cover the square distance to actual distance okay so basically this function help you to convert the actual uh, convert the square distance to actual distance you can get using this function and this function mainly we are used for that 
uh, your uh, Euclidean distance. And further, we also define about our uh, image neighborhood size. In this time, I put here the 30. So then we can get that basically 30 mainly we use for that landscape imagery so further so basically this type of map we are also used for the different types of uh, work such as if you want you can also use it for that any kind of um, for that uh, analysis for that suppose this analysis you also use the landscape image or other images so for that it also better to use the 30 meter then we can get the river to distance map this pixel size we can get as the 30 meter resolution but when you want to work for that any kind of imagery which have a uh, uh, low set, uh, high resolution such as 10 meter then you can put here the 10 meter also there is work very well so basically suppose you want to make that um, your any kind of analysis uh, for this analysis you have already used some images this image have the 30 meter resolution in this time you also need the distance to river map suppose flood susceptibility so mainly when you want to work for the flood susceptibility mapping then we need the different types of uh, parameter such as land use land cover we need we need that uh, dam data we need that also so this type of satellite imagery we find out the 30 meter so in the meantime you also you want to need the distance river map then further you also put at the 30 meter then you also get that similar pixel size all of data so for that it's depend on your uh, neighborhood size basically it's depend on your satellite image resolution so in this time i just put at the 30 meter and then I use here the square root function. Basically, this function used to convert square distance to actual distance. This function is square distance convert into square uh, di uh, actual distance which you can get from here. So far, we are just simply visualize this result. And if you want, you can also just in this time I show the uh, distance river map, this type of color. And further, I just simply show this type of color. So here you can see we can get this type of map. So basically, this type of red color identify about the high distance from the river. Okay, so and this type of blue color identify about the low distance from the river. So here you can see this is my river network. Okay, you can see this is the river network. Okay, so this type of blue color is the near. If you want to check the distance from here, so let's click on here and click on here. You can see. Now we can get this type of distance here. You can see. It's for the 23.32. Also, you can see about that. Suppose click on this more near place about the river. Then this value is also. Um, close to the river so this type of red color identify about the far distance from the river network and this type of blue color or this type of uh, green color or yellow color it's identify about that near to the river so you can see here um, just I click on here then we also get all of color parameter from here so here you can see it's identify about that uh, near very close to the river Greater than green, greater than yellow, and uh, and more greater than for the red color. This type of red color we can get from here. So it's a far distance from the river network. And basically, this type of things is also helpful when you want to make the flood subsidy mapping or any kinds of analysis. You also uh, need for that this type of distance to road, distance to river map, or distance to road map. We also need. So basically, in this time, I will show you that hydro shared data for accumulation. But the next tutorial, I'll also try to explain about that how we can easily work with the dam data using the dam data how we can easily find out the flow direction and uh, further how we can easily calculate that uh, flow accumulation in google earth engine okay so just keep in touch with my youtube channel then you can easily get all of tutorial and in the meantime if you want to join my live training session on google earth engine for seven days online training program this class will be start from that uh, 14 june for next week we try to start our new best and now this session is the open and first 10 is to get the 50% discount. If you want to join this online training program, you can simply contact in this WhatsApp number or also contact with this uh, email. So basically in this online training program, you will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level on Google Earth Engine. And I hope after completing this online training program, you are able to do any types of remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently using the Google Earth Engine platform. So here you can see I already added all of those things in this website. I also uh, attached the website link in this video description. You can simply check it, this link, then you can easily get all of uh, information about this online training program. And when you want to join this online training program, you can get some benefits such as you can get that course certificate after submitting all of assignment. You can get the all of course material, mainly slide, PDF. You can get the all of practice code as well as you can also get the recorded class. Suppose if you miss any live training session then you can easily cover using the recorded class and you also get the lifetime teaching support it's very important as a beginner because when you face any problem then you need the support as a beginner you face a lot of problem definitely you face a lot of problem 
so that's why you need the continuous support and when you can get this support then you can easily learn all of those things so that's the region after completing the total seven days online training program when you face any problem reading any issue in your code or any problem then you can easily get the free support for a lifetime regarding this online training program so i will attach this website link in the video description you can simply check it further if you want to join contact this whatsapp number or also contact with this email so just simply click on here then automatically you can contact with my whatsapp and this is my email about that okay so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe